Skelly, um, I, I come from somebody that grew up not knowing their biological mother. Um, and uh, I get that. Like, I, I get that sense of it. It, it kind of bothers you. It sticks with you. You're like, who, who the heck was this person? You know, and you have questions there. Um, there can be a lot of, um, Uh, that is something to where there are a ton of different reasons why people would leave, but in something like that, that's up for that person to know. Um, I know that it's not a good thing. Um, I know that was something very big and very hard for me to, um, to kind of come to terms with and actually really try to, to think about in that sense. Um, I was fortunate that my dad remarried and my biological mom, since I was like three, raised me and took me through school and, and if I got like a boo-boo, she took care of it and, and all of that stuff. So, um, you know, and, and, and that is true. It, it is something to where I can see how the question would repeat, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, like, the woman that my dad remarried, she will always be, uh, she'll always be my mom. Like, she was the one who made sure I did good in school. When I had a bad dream, she was the one who... Um, who, who took care of, who took care of me, and so to me that means a lot. You know, and if you have, if you're in the case where you have someone that, um, you know, let's say your mom didn't remarry, um, you know, you have her. You have her in your life. You have this amazing woman who absolutely adores and loves you. And it, I'm not going to sit there and say, well, that should be enough. Because it, it's a sense of identity. You know, especially if you're sitting there and you're thinking about it. It can be, if you think about it, it can be something in the sense of... Um, uh, I'm going to turn off this music because this is kind of really serious. Um, it can be something of how you can feel that it would be identity. All I know is that he was in the army and didn't stop thinking that he left for his job or he left because he didn't want to take care of me. Sometimes when I'm upset, I think that he knew that I would be a disappointment, but I know that's not. Wow. No. No, 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 Skell. Look, Skelly, from what little I know about you, I know you're awesome. So, you know, you're a wonderful person. But no, don't don't let that, something like that, you know. Um, like I said, I don't want to sit there and and figure and speak and put words into the existence of this person that I've never met. Um you know, but no, you, you are an amazing person and, you know, for, you know, from what I do know about you, you have someone in your life that loves you. You have someone in your life that, you, you know, you are a, a miracle to her. You are a blessing to her and she adores and loves you. And that I have found in that situation and when you start thinking about that um just try to focus on who you have in your life the fact that you have a mom who loves you and the fact that you have a mom that makes sure that you're safe <laughs> because um you know i wouldn't be surprised if your mom hung out and watched the streams with you uh, just to make sure that I wasn't doing anything bad or trying to, to, to negatively influence you. You know, you have someone in your life that truly adores you. 
And that that is special. That is something that is awesome to have. You know, but in, in the sense of, and also in the sense of this, and maybe this will help you, um, I'm not going to say that I'm the black sheep in the family, but I'm definitely the odd one out. Um, where everyone goes one direction on something, I can tend to go the other direction. Um, it, And I'm not talking political here, but if they all move left, I tend to move right. And that's not saying anything in our two political houses or anything like that. That's just me throwing out left and right in the way that it just pops up in my brain. Um, so at the end of the day, Oh, so she doesn't know that you watch. Okay. Um, uh, in, in the sense that my identity is, um, there is a lot of things that um, I do that I was raised, that I was taught. Um. Uh, <laughs> well, as I don't know your parents, um, hey, Tracer, um, as I don't know your parents, um, I can't really tell you, um, but in, in the sense of, okay, so I, I mean, I was walking down, uh, I was in the grocery store the other day, and this woman, uh, this older woman, uh, she had to be, like, in her 70s at least. Um, dropped, like, a ton of change uh, out of her purse while she was grocery shopping. And it just went all over the aisle. And she had this look of great on her face. And I just, without a thought and without a word, went and I helped her pick up all the change and I gave it to her. And that's the way that I was raised. That that is what my you know my my mom taught me how to be. That's who she taught me to be. Um, and I just helped her, and I you know talked to her real sweetly, and I talked to her about her day. Um, you know, one of the things with my um, with my my dad and my grandpa, what they taught me um, was if you believe something. And someone stands on the opposite of you and they try and push you, not literally, but in the sense of um, if you have something that you know in your heart is right. Um, I'm, 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 Tracer, I'm going to make my point in a second. Um, then you dig your heels in. However, there are certain things that my parents see and they, they feel and how they look at the world that is completely different than how I do. So in that skelly, um, your parents do have a small part of your self identity, but the amazing thing is, is that you can I you can define who you are, and who you are as a person. So your identity is not determined by this person that disappeared out of your life you as your own person can define who you are and who you are in life, what you want out of life and where you want to go. So that is something that is also a blessing. You can be who you want to be. Like I'm, I'm 34. I still wear geeky, geeky T-shirts like someone in their late teens to, to early 20s. You know, my my sister, she dresses like she's, you know, she's nine, she's five years younger than me. She dresses like she's in her late 30s, early 40s, and it's kind of weird. And one one like holiday, I'm kind of hanging out with her, and I'm watching her, I'm looking at her, I'm like, Lauren, why don't you dress your age? Like you're 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 in your twenties. Why do you dress that way? And she goes, I don't know. Why don't you dress your age? And I go, 
Touche. I kind of didn't mean that as a backhanded in, as a backhand like you just did, but all right, that's that's cool. Um, I guess all right. Let me give an example. Um, as you can see, you know my hair is long. It's not long, long, but it's longer. And so, like, I was sitting down there at one uh, one holiday. I'm hanging out with my parents. They're in Charleston, South Carolina, so that's the only time I really get to see them. Um, uh, and so my dad just makes this big deal out of it, as he always does in the special way that he does. And he's like, well, you know, y you have your hair long. And I'm like, very obvious, astute, you know, astute observation, Dad. You know, good job. And he's like, well, I have my hair short. And I'm going, yep. I mean, I already knew where he, where he was going when he started talking about my hair. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. And he goes, you're, um, you know, I have my hair short. Yes, you do. My brothers have their hair short. I'm like, yes, they do. And he's like, well, your grandpa has his hair short. And I'm like, no, no, no. Grandpa has a comb over. There's a difference. <laughs> but <laughs> my... My dad's like, what, you know, da, 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 I don't understand it. And I'm like, well, you don't have to understand it, Dad. I like to have my hair long. That's just the way that I like it. And Freddie's hair is kind of long. My brother's like, my hair's not long. I'm like, you look like Justin Bieber. Your hair's long. He's like, ow. Ow, man, bro. Really? Really, Bieber? He's a music major. So that's kind of like someone telling me if I were to direct a movie. They're like, wow, you're, you're like Yuval. And I'd be like. Okay, have I upset you in some way? Did I did I did I insult the honor of your family? Like why why you got to be like that? Why 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 you got to be like that? Um Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that. All my hugs on that one. Because the only way to answer, yeah, he is like literally the only person that can answer that one, Skelly. Um, all right, hold on. Let me let let me get my words in on this one. No, it, it, Skelly, it's not that I'm scared to say it. It's just that I'm trying to, to formulate the correct words. Words are an incredibly, incredibly powerful, powerful thing. Um, these are things you cannot take back. Um, one of the things that really is a bit of an offshoot. Um, uh, um uh some someone uh i had read something as a kid um and this kid had snapped at his mom his adopted mom and then later he said he was sorry and so his adopted dad took him out to hunt and they had bows and arrows and he goes um the kid's like i don't understand it i've said i'm sorry why doesn't she um uh 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 like why it's you know she's still upset and his father goes not your arrow and the kid goes okay and he puts it in the bow and the dad goes do you see that tree over there and the kid goes yeah he goes shoot the tree and so the kid shoots the tree and um the dad goes now go retrieve the arrow and he goes okay and so he takes the arrow out of the tree and before he can turn around his dad says, now remove the hole. And that's why I'm choosing my words carefully, Skelly. Because once I say them, I will not be able to take them back. So I'm trying to choose these very, very carefully about that situation.
it is true. This person is the only person that can answer the why they left. Their actions define who they are. Their actions should not define who you are. And while I know you know that, what you have to take in is this. That is a question you need to let go. Because you are looking, what I feel, is that you are looking at that question as a sense of your own self-identity. Which it isn't. Um, I know because I've had this same question um, with, with my biological mother. And I mean... A lot of stuff happened that caused my dad and my biological mother to split ways. Things that I will not say on this stream. Things that if you want, I will talk to you more in depth through whispers. I will not talk about that here. Um, because that's private stuff. That's not just me. That's two other individuals. And that's private things that don't need to be, that I don't want to be sharing out on a live stream. Um, but um, it, point being is that she did not make the best decisions. And so those decisions do not determine who I am. Those decisions do not um, uh, the, the, the question of why? Why did you do these things? Why did, why did you make these decisions? And the, the question I want to have in that sense is with myself, um, uh, why wasn't I enough? I guess is the question. And I can tell that's the question with you. And you are enough. The real question is, why couldn't they see that? And that is something that you have to be at peace without having the answer to. Because in all reality, it could be anything. It could have been financial it could have been um um i will admit that's one of the hardest things that is something to where it and i hate this answer i hate it i hate it when people tell me this because it feels like such a cop out um <laughs> i hate it takes time i hate those words in something like this. Um, but I, like I said, I have experience with this. Um, and with your age and where you are right now, th at that age, that was like one of the huge questions that I, that I had. I wrote letters to her kind of wondering what the hell, like why? Why? I wrote letters explaining who I was and kind of what I, they were never sent. There was no place to send them. Um, we I'm trying to think of my words. Like I said, this this is words are something that you cannot take those back. Um, think of it like having a band aid on, um, a very big band aid. At some point, in order for the healing process to happen, 
you have to take the band-aid off. The point when you take it off, when you rip it off, yes, that hurts. But you feel better once the pain stops and you're able to heal completely after it's gone. So it, it, it's one of those things to where you have this pain and you have this question and you don't realize how much it weighs on you until you get rid of it. And what sometimes the mistake is to have is to take the absence of that weight and the absence of that presence as more pain when in reality it's very liberating it's very you know you're alleviated from this uh, recently i had had a falling out with somebody who a friend who was very 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 special to me um we were very close and um like with crit they gave me something very precious to them uh before we had our falling out. It's something that its existence is very rare outside of their own emotional connection to this thing. And so when we had a falling out, one of the major turmoils that I had for months was, did they want this thing back? Did they regret giving it to me? And I had to go through hell or high water in order to find that answer. Um... And the way that that answer gate was given to me hurt so bad, but I had my answer. They didn't want it back. It was mine. They gave it to me. They did not regret giving it to me. It was mine to do with what I wanted. And the first, for the first 48 hours, their answer hurt. The way that their answer was given to me hurt hurt so bad because they are very angry at me and which led to our fallout um which i feel that those ang that anger is from a lot of misunderstandings and lack of communication but that anger hurt however after that that turmoil of did they want this thing back was released and in that sense and in that subject of that 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 gift i am at peace i still miss them i still miss their friendship i still miss hearing them laugh i miss them texting me i miss them but in that sense that pain is gone that turmoil is gone and this is this this is kind of like a pebble compared to a boulder but the idea is still the same there is nothing you did there is nothing you could have done their decisions were their own and while you wish to know what and why, that was this decision that they made. And what you can't do is a look at it as a reflection of yourself. You are an amazing person. You have two people in your life that love and adore you. And that is what, you know, that is where you should see your blessings. And trust me, for somebody that grew up not knowing their own biological mother, I get that. I found her. I found her and we talk on occasion. Her decisions had nothing to do with me. 
the decisions that she made was absolutely nothing to do with me, with me coming into her life. Her decisions were based upon stuff from before I was even an idea. Everything had boiled up in her life that led to those actions. And so with whatever, I think what I'm trying to say is with whatever happened with your biological father, those decisions are not yours. They have nothing to do with when you were born. And so that is something to where I think once you realize that, and once you accept that, I think you'll feel better. I mean, like I said, I'm not going to talk about it in, 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 in great detail here. If you want me to whisper you these details and these things, I'll be more than happy to. Because that's two people's lives that, that are not mine. If I broke my toe, like I broke my toe the other year. I busted the crap out of it. That's my toe. I can make the decision to tell that here. Um, when I was in the fifth grade, um, my teacher was an evil monster who absolutely hated me. And I was taking a test and I needed to use the potty. And I'm in the fifth grade. I'm a little kid and I waddle up to the teacher and I'm like, teacher, can I go use the bathroom? And she goes, no, finish your test. Well, I didn't make it. I ended up having an accident. That was me. I, 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 it's embarrassing, and I'm blown out so you can't see me blushing, but I can share that here. Those types of things I can't share on this stream. You know, Skelly, if you're still there, um, uh, you can whisper that on with me. I, I have experience with that. Um, their decisions are something that are based upon stuff that happened way before you even came in. So, I hope this is helping. I really, really do. And I'm happy I can, I, I can help in any way that I can. Like I said, I, I have experience, um, and 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 that in that exact thing I, I have experience with that. You are an amazing person. There is nothing wrong with you. You are not a disappointment. That is not on you. It really isn't. And I know how that feels to hear that that is not on you because like I said, I've been there. You know, I've had that question. So, you know, it, it. That what's true, Skelly.
it isn't your fault. It really isn't. I mean, it, it isn't. It, it is not your fault. It has nothing to do with you. I mean, all of the stuff that happened with, like, with my past, it had nothing to do with me. I mean, I'm, I was an infant. I had no effect on the things that came before me. And there was no actions that I could take that would have had any difference or any different effect on anything, really, in that situation. Three, four, five. Even now, as a 34-year-old male, I have zero cause or effect over any one of their lives. My dad, my stepmom, my biological mother, I have zero effect. There is nothing that I say or do that determines their actions. They are three adults. They make their own adult decisions and make their own adult actions based upon what they do or do not want to do. The only time I affect my dad is if I kick him in the shin. <laughs> I've never kicked him in the shin. I am too scared of that man to kick him in the shin. But it he's not going to leave my life because of it. You know, and that's something drastic. That's something major. That's, well, bam! Like, why'd you kick me in the shin? Um... Hey, princess. How are you? So, Skelly, seriously, like, look, if you need to whisper me, I can give you more detail than I can give you here about that subject. But no, it is not your fault. Oh, sorry, prince. <laughs> Sorry, Prince. <laughs> Oops. Oh, man. I got on someone today for reading my message wrong. And it is it is something that um, Prince. <laughs> don't have to be rich to rule my world. You don't have to be cool to rule my world. Sorry. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> Sorry, Prince Kalma. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Um, Skelly, do you feel better? Like, again, if you need to whisper me, you can whisper me. <laughs> Prince is never going to let me live this down. <laughs> no problem. No, no, Prince, you're okay. It, it's, it's, it's all good. It's it is all good. You are welcome here. Um Ooh, and look who wants to join us. He's my kitty. He's my kitty, sniper cat. Look, no. No, you were bugging me for attention. So here you go. He's a kitty. He's my kitty. Mm. Mm. He's a kitty kitty. See, it's my kitty. Say hi. Kitty kitty. This is my sniper cat. All one word. Capital S, capital C. Sniper cat. Sniper kitty. 
Você tem que querer. Se tá perto, você quer. My kitty. But... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at her. Look at her. Let's see if she hangs out here while we while it while I play. Hey Guilders, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to catch me live on Twitch. The link is below. Please stay tuned for the next episode, or if you're looking for something a little different, you can follow the links to the episodes on the left and the right. Or you can catch one of my guest streams. See you next time. And this brought to you by boobs and salt and pepper hair. Now brought to you by Corona Ice. <laughs> Damn. They coming! They coming! Run away! <laughs>